Well, and if there's one that feels like it now wears that crown in the AFC, it's got to be the other team from the state of Texas that was the polar opposite of the Dallas Cowboys, where the Dallas Cowboys were slow starting and letting their entire fan base down. You had the Houston Texans just coming out and just throwing haymakers at the Cleveland Browns and making the Browns look like their defense was to be disrespected all year long. And it must've been the offense that drove them to the party. Um, I I have never seen a ballyhoo defense kind of lay down and die quite like the Cleveland Browns did as the Texans put up a 40, 45 to 14 win CJ Stroud. Like you were saying, Larry don't like young quarterbacks against defenses that good. CJ Stroud don't care. Oh my gosh, what have what have we got in this Houston Texans team? Well, they, you know, you they, know what you get. Like I'll take the team on the come. Oh my God, Damon, they were amazing. All right, let, let's talk about them for a second. People talked endlessly in the late '80s about Jimmy Johnson's, you know, Herschel Walker trade and what it did for the Cowboys, and they it helped create the team of the '90s. They right. got Triplets. Emmett Smith out of that. They got Russell Maryland out of that. They got Darren Woodson out of that. They got a bunch. They got like six or seven picks. Novacek. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, I'm just talking about off the off the Herschel Walker trade solely. I'm not sure if okay. he came out of that. Guess what the Texans got for Deshaun Watson so far? This is what they have: Will Anderson. Tank Dell, who's not playing right now, terrific young receiver, might be one of his the best they have. John Mechie, 23-year-old wide receiver. Christian Harris, former Bama linebacker, best player on the field this weekend, had did everything. Damian Pierce, starting NFL running back. Kenyon Green, that's six. Xavier Hutchinson, who was a who's one of Brock Purdy's receivers at Iowa State, seven. Thomas Booker from Stanford, Brandon Hill from Pitt, and they have a 2024 first and a 2024 third. They right now have nine players, uh, six starters, and two and three backups, and they have a first and a third coming. All for Deshaun Watson. Right, who wasn't even the best quarterback in Cleveland this year. Right, who the Browns, if you told the Browns they could get out from underneath that, uh, tomorrow they would cut him. Tomorrow they gave him a two hundred and thirty million dollar contract, hundred percent of it's guaranteed. The guy that needs to get a little credit, we hear about D'Amico a ton, and he deserves it. We hear about Bobby Slowick a ton, and he deserves it. We hear about C.J. Stroud a ton. Nick Cesario, the former Belichick uh, general manager, the former Patriot general manager, the best personnel guy associated with the Patriots during their heyday has he's the guy who made that trade and he's the guy that's making all these picks. And you look at, to me, the scary thing about the Texans is Nico Collins looks like Terrell Owens. Yeah. Um, you know, they've got a big time, you know, left tackle and Laramie Tunsil. So they don't have to worry about that. You've got a great young quarterback in CJ Stroud. They've got a couple of really good running backs in Devin Singletary and Damian Pierce. But it's their defensive ends. Will Anderson, Jonathan Greenard, who's now 26, the former Florida Gator, just was awesome yesterday. Derek Barnett, why the Eagles wanted to get rid of Derek Barnett, I, will only, I have no idea because he looked amazing this weekend. So, I mean, you I mean, it's that those three guys up front are just absolutely wreaking havoc right now. And then Christian Harris. Den's outside, Denzel Perriman inside, Jalen Petrie, Derek Stingley, uh, Desmond King was monster. This team's made great pickups. Desmond King was a great pickup. He was a street free agent. They Pittsburgh cut him earlier this year, and he stepped in this week for for the Texans and was absolutely dominating. I don't know if you how much you saw of Desmond King. He had twelve tackles in the game. Seven of them were solo. So all over the place. The Houston defensive ends and Stroud, they could ride that into Baltimore. If you told me that the Texans went into Baltimore and, and beat the Ravens, I would not be shocked. D'Amico should be coach of the year. There's no doubt about it. How yep. how awkward is it going to be if, you know, um, Kevin Stefanski is now named coach of the year after D'Amico's team just took his team apart in the postseason? Um, how awkward is it for uh, 
for Dak Prescott uh, uh, Pro Bowl voters over uh, Brock Purdy, you know, after after that performance yesterday. So um, well, how, how about how about the people who didn't vote for Amon Ra? For I mean, Amon Ra is one of the great receivers in the league, and he showed it yesterday. On a name standpoint alone, if the name gets you bonus points, he should have been in there. Amon Ra and Equiminia St. Brown. These are incredible fabricated names that his dad came up with. I mean, you know about that. Like his dad was an Olympic athlete and his last name was Brown. He's like, well, Brown's not very sexy. So I'm going to put a saint in front of it, even though there's not a saint Brown. We're don't forget become- don't forget about the brother who played for Stanford, Osiris. Osiris, exactly. Equiminius, Osiris, and Amon Ra St. Brown. What, Amon I mean, Ra's a true number one receiver right now. And oh, he yeah. was fantastic yesterday. Yeah, he was. Dude, the Lions were really good all day yesterday. They were. I uh, That was a fun game to watch. But just to go back to the Texans for one moment, sometimes, Larry, you know, when you know you're dealing with cancer, you got to get it out. You know, you got to, you just got to, you got to cut it out. Chemo's not, it's going to take too long. You got to cut it out. And there were two cancers that were plaguing the Houston Texans. It was what Deshaun Watson became because of the whole massage scandal. That was a got to get this guy out of here situation. And remember the name Jack Easterby? Remember like what a weird, ultra, conservative, super religious, prayer-heavy, MAGA kind of presence that that guy had around that team, and he was a real odd duck. Nobody liked Jack Easterby. Uh, But Ray Ratto, who I used to work with, like went on a crusade against Jack Easterby in a way that I was like, Ray, what is what, what is it with you with this guy? He's just like, I've heard things. He's just a weird dude. And and that guy is gone now, too. And look at them. I mean, it's like the 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 Texans got their wings and can fly now. So um, when you, when you know, you just got a weird guy who's not helping, get him out. <laughs> and, well, and, 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 twice. and it's just like, there's no replacing huge amounts of young talent because ultimately their equivalent of the Herschel Walker trade, the, the Deshaun Watson trade gave them huge talent. Green Bay's good last two drafts have given them a whole bevy of young talent. When do you become dangerous when you get a lot of good young players all at one spot at the same time? You go look at that that Texans team, Nico Collins, 23-24, Brevin Jordan, who had a 76-yard touchdown, 23 years old, John Mechie, 23 years old. I mean, it's like Pierce is 23, Stroud is 22. Um, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, Christian Harris is a relative baby. Um, Will Anderson, Jalen Petrie, Derek Stingley. These guys are all super young, super talented, all on the same team at the same time. Yeah, Houston's gonna Houston's real. And if I if I'm Baltimore, man, I'm praying like crazy the Steelers pull the upset of the Bills. Otherwise, I'm getting Houston next week. And um, it's gonna be a tough place to play because Baltimore's a tough place to play, but man, Houston. Baltimore and then Kansas City and Buffalo. If Buffalo gets the win over Pittsburgh, as we all expect today, um, I I think those are two really really good football games next weekend in the AFC. 